I'm going to try something different this time. This time, normally I wet the um, paper all over, but this time I'm not going to wet the paper. And I'm just going to see what happens. So, just doing the sort of sky area, this is like the uh, top of the mountains in the distance. A bit more water. Bit of blue, lizard and crimson. It's coming down there like that, a bit down, bit like that. A bit more water, a bit more blue. Let's just pop that in there like that. Bit of blue down there, that's going off there, and up like that. That's the sky. A bit of a in there, just a bit of variation. You can see now we've got sort of mountain outline. So I'm just going to just dry the brush and soak up these little reservoirs that are gathering at the bottom. Right. Now using those same colours, quite a dry brush. Leave the uh, sort of white of the paper as a, as a bit of snow, so just pop that down there like that. That one's just in the distance down there. Just, yeah, I'm just soaking up this water as I go along. There's a little bit of mate in there. Just do them now, I'm just catching the uh, just catching the sky there so I can bring the water down in it. Ultramarine, which will really sort of darken it a bit. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Just dipping the tips, see how the airs are splitting, so just dipping the tips in. Just the very tip into the walls, just to bring all the airs back together. <coughs> side. We'll see now. A bit of burnt on bath, a bit of ultramarine. There's like a river coming through the foreground here, so this is like the far banks, just darkening the far banks. Same on the right hand side, coming down, something like that. And just dipping the ready tips in just to loosen the paint on the brush a bit, it's got a bit dry. Now yeah, just come down. Just bringing this side down further than that, just, just to balance it out a bit better. And also, a few little rocks there. So that's pretty much the background. So put the water in next. So 
I'm not going to bother cleaning it. Uh, yeah, I'll actually, I will clean the brush. I will clean the brush. And then I'm going to take a lot of it, a lot of the excess water off on the tea towel. I'm going to go same colours as the sky. I'm going to go a bit of blue, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of everything actually. But sort of lean it towards blue more than anything else. And then, so the starting off sort of like that. And I'm leaving plenty of white bits where the uh, just to make it look like fast flowing water. So just sweeping it round like that, leaving plenty of white bits. Now for a few more rocks. Brush a bit dry, so I'm just dipping the tips in again just to bring all the airs together and loosen, loosen the paint up as well. And then I'm going back to Raw Sienna, Burnt Umbau, Ultramarine. And we've got a few more little rocks down here. So I've got rocks, Some big rocks there, right in the middle. Big rocks in the foreground. Let's just move this up a little bit. Before that dries, I'm just scrape these in. in the foreground. And a bit of old sienna. And just have to clean the brush first a bit. A bit of sienna, just fill in these bits there. Don't want, don't want everything white. I'm just filling in just need in there for the colour. And I think switch to the little brush. I'm just gonna A little birdie. Let's pop him here on this white bit here because it's easy to see. Pop three. Pop three. Let's see what it looks like with the main sun. So here's our finished picture with the mountain. So if we go in and have a closer look at it. Now the first thing was normally I wet the sky all over, well I wet the old paper all over, but the reason I didn't is because 
you get this nice sharp edge when you just put the uh, the well I just put the sky on the sky colour in first without wetting it. Really nice sharp edge, it really shows off the profile of the mountains. And then just a bit of colour on the side just to give it some sort of form. A bit of raw sienna there just to mix it up a bit, make the sky a bit more interesting as the mountain profile just follows it all the way across over to the right hand side of the picture. And our little birds here flying at the base of the mountain. And a bit of raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine, just this landmass there that comes laying down, down the slopes towards the uh, river. And then again on this right hand side, a few rocks scraped in there with the card. Just adds a bit of interest to this bank. The river flows down and towards the right, broken up here by this sort of mass of land and rocks in the centre and left hand area. Again use the uh, card just to scrape out these rock shapes all around. Well I hope you like that, thanks for watching, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.